Welcome back to another tutorial, where we will be questing to get as many candies as possible. If you would like to see specific parts of the video, look for the timestamps in the description down below. Disclaimer, this is not an in-depth video about the quests themselves. I will start off with a short explanation of what candies are and how they work. This is for the people that just started playing the game. Eidolon has an idol system where you can go offline and your characters will still be fighting or skilling away. But this is at a slower rate than if you were to play locked in on that character. These stats per character can be found in the bottom right in the AFK tab. This is where the candies come into play. When consumed, these candies will instantly give you the AFK gains. This will speed up your progress by a lot. They come in a variety of tiers. The 1 hour candy, 2 hours candy, 4 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours and 72 hours. The 72 hour candy is currently not obtainable requesting. Alright, let's get into the candy quests. And I will be going through each world in order. Crypticus has one quest for two one hour candies. For these candies you need to reach level 7 and then create a second character at the main menu. Then use this character to open the storage chest. Mutton has one quest for one one hour candy. For this candy you need to hand in 300 corporate subs to Mutton himself. These corporate subs can be obtained from killing poops. Tilso has several quests for candies. One 2 hour candy, one 4 hour candy and the last quest for a 24 hour candy. For these candies you need to AFK for 4 hours at the spores, AFK for 8 hours at the frogs and at last AFK 16 hours at the slimes. Papa Pigga has one quest for a 2 4 hour candy. For these candies you need to kill a crystal mob to get a crystalline stamp. The telescope has one quest for 2 2 hour candies and 2 4 hour candies. Remember, this is a one time only quest account wide. For these candies, you need to AFK here for 1 plus hour. Alright, let's get into world 2. The Yum Yum Desert has a total amount of 10 NPCs with candy quests, so you better get ready. Kobo Jones has one quest at the start of the questline for 3 1 hour candies, and at the end of the questline, 1 24 hour candy. For these candies you need to have 3 or more characters and you will have to kill Evant and bring his crystal back to him. Desert Davy has 1 quest for 2 4 hour candies and 3 1 hour candies. Remember this is one time only account wide. For this quest you will need to bring him 1 steel axe, 1 birch longbow and 1 quarter staff. Postboy Peplop has 1 quest for 5 2 hour candies. Remember this quest is a one time only account wide. For this quest you will need to hand in 5 empty boxes. Fishpaste has one quest for one one hour candy. You will need to give him 1500 butterflies to complete the quest. Centurion has 4 quests for a grand total of 2 one hour candies, 4 two hour candies, 1 four hour candy and at last a one 12 hour candy. For these candies you need to hand in 2500 coconut noddo get a Colosseum score of 200k plus, complete the entire Colosseum with a score of 350k plus, and at last speedrun all three Colosseums. For World 1 Colosseum, you need to have 180 seconds left, World 2 Colosseum, you need to have 170 seconds left, and for World 3 Colosseum, you need to have 160 seconds left. The Snake Jar has two quests for one 12 hour candy and for three 1 hour candies. For these candies you need to hand in 8500 life potions and lure a player in front of the snake jar while he rides I'm a total noob. Zekius has one quest for two 2 hour candies. For these candies you need to hand in 130 crab sticks and 150 crappy cakes. Goldrick has one quest at the end of the questline where you will get one 24 hour candy. For this candy you need to defeat sand castles without hurting those sheep. Illuminati has one quest at the end of the questline where you will get one 24 hour candy. For this candy you will have to kill King Dude. If you don't know how to kill King Dude there will be a wiki link about it in the description. Jonat has one quest for 8 1 hour candies. For these candies you have to hand in 200 average mana potions 
600 icing iron bites and 150 jellyfish. Let's get into the last world. Lost by Tundra has 4 NPCs with quests that you can complete to obtain candies. Oginus has 2 quests which will give you 2 1 hour candies. For these candies you will have to place a trap box on the slime map and you will have to summon the goblin gore fest and place 4 pulse mage towers. Island Irvin has 1 quest for 2 1 hour candies and 1 4 hour candy. Remember this is a one time only account wide quest. For this quest you will have to hand in 250 melty cubes. The lore of the hunt has a grand total of 7 quests. These quests will grant you 6 4 hour candies, 4 12 hour candies and 1 24 hour candy. The whole concept of all these quests are getting a lot of critters and getting shinies of those critters and handing them in. Last but not least is the Lonely Hunter. He has two quests which both give one one hour candy. For these candies you need to hand in 200 grassy leaves and 50 twisty leaves. For the other quests you have to kill 5 Zylo bones, which can be found within the World Free Colosseum. Hopefully I was able to help you become aware that there are a lot of quests out there that will give you candies as a reward. If you want to ask questions about this video or about something else, you can join my discord in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and turn the notifications on for the next tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.